Hi Year 5s and welcome to Tuesday's math session and today we're going to be continuing um, to divide two digits by one digit numbers and we're really going to um, have a think about what division means and we're going to be looking at remainders so we're going to just continue with our learning of division so let's get ready um, let's have a look at this place value chart. You can see it's divided into tens and ones. And I have got three rows because I'm dividing by three. And on my right, I have got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tens. So that means I've got 70 and I've got two ones. So that means I've got a total of 72. So you can see I've made 72 divided by three. And I'm going to um, see if you can then um, divide 72 into 3. How could you share that amount equally between the three rows? Do that now on your piece of paper. OK, so you would have two tens in each row. And what do I do with that last 10? I can't sh um, share it out equally as it is. So I then have to take it to the swap shop and exchange it for 10 ones. I can then put those in the correct row. So that gives me 24 in each row. So 72 divided by three is 24. Let's have a look at these groups here. So how many groups do I have and how many in each group? If you have a look at the donuts, you can see that I have got four groups, haven't I? And in each of those groups, I have got three donuts. Let's have a look at the cubes here. How many groups do I have? Well, this time I have got four, uh, sorry, um, three groups. Um, and in the, so I've got three groups or three piles of blocks. And in each group, I have got four in each. Let's have a look here then. I've got some beans blocks and I've got 16 in total and I need to divide them into two. So I need to make two piles out of those blocks. I'm going to divide them into two there. And you can see that there are 16 cubes altogether. And there are how many groups of two? How many groups of two can I make out of that 16? Well, there are eight. So I know that 16 divided by 2 is equal to 8. There are 16 cubes altogether, and there are how many groups of 4? So I'm going to group my 16 into groups of 4. And you can see that there are 1, 2, 3, 4 groups of 4. So 16 divided by 4 is equal to 4. And I know this also because 4 multiplied by 4 is the same as 16. There are 16 cubes altogether. How many groups of 5 are there? So I'm going to make groups of 5 now out of my 16. So I've made three groups of 5. And you can see that there is one left over, isn't there? So I've got one cube remaining. So 16 divided by 5 is equal to 3 remainder 1. There are 16 cubes altogether. There are how many groups? So if I were to divide my 16 into 6, that would give me two groups of six and how many cubes do I have remaining? Well there are four cubes remaining. Let's see if we can work out where to put these numbers in the number sentence for the division. Now the larger number always goes at the beginning because that's the total number that we are sharing isn't it? So it's going to be 16 divided by six because I've put six um, into each group and that is remainder uh, so it's two, I've made two groups, haven't I? So two groups, remainder four. So 16 divided by six is equal to two remainder four. Your turn now. Have a go at the questions one to four on the worksheet. Pause the video as you do so. Right, let's have a look at another way of um, dividing. And you can see here that we've got a number line. Um, instead of using the cubes. So 16 divided by 4, as we have seen, is 4. 
And that's the same as jumping um, in steps of four all the way back. So you can see I've done steps of four and I've done that four times to get to zero. So 16 divided by four is the same as four. If I chunk away at my uh, number line, I've chunked away in steps of four and that's got me to zero, which is where I need to go to to make my even groups. Let's have a look here now. 16 divided by five. I'm going to go back in steps of five, aren't I? So from 16 to 11, that's a step of five. And you can see that I've made three steps of five. So 16 divided by five is equal to three, but I haven't quite made it to zero, have I? So it's going to be three remainder one. Let's have a look here. So I've got 16 divided by seven. Where am I going to land there? So I'm jumping back in steps of seven. And that's got me two big steps of seven, hasn't it? So 16 divided by seven is going to be two remainder two as I have landed on the two. OK, do we agree with tiny? Let's have a look. He's got 16 divided by four is four. 17 divided by four is four remainder one. Yes, I can see that because it's landed on the one, hasn't it? And he's done the big steps of four. Um, 18 divided by four is four remainder two. Yes, I can see he's done his steps and he's got his remainder two there. That's been circled. Um, 19 divided by four is four remainder three. Yep, he's done his steps of four and he's landed on three. And then this last one, 20 divided by four is four remainder four. Now, hang on a minute. If you are dividing by four and you have a remainder of four, surely you could do another jump. So he should have managed to do another jump of four because he's dividing by four, isn't he? So his total then would have been five. 20 divided by four is five. So have a go, year fives, at completing the next questions, um, four to five on the worksheet. And um, have a go with the number lines. Just remember, whatever... Just to remember, you're trying to get to zero. If you don't quite get to zero, then it is the number that you land on that is your remainder. OK, um, and I look forward to seeing how you get on.